Hi, welcome everybody in our new tutorial that is about Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet program that is provided by the Microsoft. A spreadsheet program basically is a grid of rows and columns that can be used to manipulate the data. The normal data input in spreadsheet programs contains the numerical values and we can perform different kind of calculations on the numerical values. So without wasting any time, I would like to uh, launch the Microsoft Excel and discuss its different components. Uh, in this tutorial, we will go through from basics to the advanced features of the Microsoft Excel. But the today session is only about the basic interface of Microsoft Excel, which components are incorporating in Microsoft Excel interface. Because this is the fundamental aspect of each and every software to understand its interface means which uh, tools or components are available in our software. So without wasting any time, I would like to show you the home screen contains a number of templates. This is the home screen from where we can open other workbooks that are already created or available on any storage media. This section is called, uh, this is the name of software that is Microsoft Excel. This section is called a uh, recent section that will contains the recent files that are currently opened or managed by the Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is a full featured spreadsheet program. Here, uh, uh, now I will like to explore this section on the right hand side. This section contains a number of built in or provided by the Microsoft Excel templates. There are a lot of templates we can scroll here. Uh, new templates will be loaded automatically whenever we will scroll here. But along these templates, here Microsoft Excel provided a suggested searches. Uh, we can uh, see here Microsoft Excel is providing here suggested searches. What are these suggested searches? We can click on these tabs to explore much more precise uh, to our uh, required templates. Not only that, Microsoft Excel also provides the search feature. What is this search feature? Using this search feature, we can also search a particular template that will meet uh, approximately exact our requirement. So I would like to show you, I am going to search out the education templates. I type here the education keyword. You can see here, I have typed here the education. The Microsoft Excel will search the education relevant templates from over the internet and uh, other categories that also relevant to the education keyword are listed here. We can see here, these are the categories and there are the total count of templates that are available along with these categories. We can also explore these other templates that are available over the internet with the help of Microsoft Excel. Uh, I will encourage you to explore these templates and other categories of these templates to ex extend your knowledge and learn much more. Uh, we will also discuss later on in these video sessions or in this uh, Excel tutorial uh, other aspects that how we can use these templates for our personal use. So I would like to appreciate if you subscribe our channel and engage with us by pressing the bell icon so newly uploaded video notification will be available to you so click on the blank microsoft excel sheet this is the basically microsoft excel sheet a microsoft separate sheet program is called ms access and each ms access or separate sheet program is used to create a workbook now I would like to clear the concepts of workbook and worksheet. The working area of the spreadsheet is, that we are going to see is called workbook. Each workbook may contain number of worksheets. Okay, there are three concepts, workbook, worksheet and spreadsheet. I would like to write here uh, the major uh, software is called spreadsheet and each separate sheet contain workbooks workbook and each workbook can contain worksheets there may be a different 
number of worksheets available in a spreadsheet program okay now we are going to explore the major components of the spreadsheet i have already created multiple sheet here now we can say that this workbook contains four sheets okay start from the top of the workbook the first and topmost and uh, top prioritized component of the worksheet workbook is called its title we can uh, clearly observe here this is called uh, not the worksheet one this is the book one of microsoft excel excel is a separate sheet program this is called title bar it is used to show you the title of the document or name of the document that is currently open if you click on new document or press control plus n then by default this will contain the incremented order book 1 book 2 book 3 etc and the quick access toolbars are available on the top left side these quick access toolbar are used to uh, perform the uh, hot operations that will frequently used in microsoft excel such as save the workbook undo redo operations or quickly navigate to the microsoft here on the rightmost topmost corner we can see here control panel that is called a separate sheet control panel that include a uh, windows fundamental control buttons such as maximize minimize and uh, close button now i would like to explore the major part of tools that is available in the form of <coughs> menu ribbon this is called menu ribbon here are a different kind of tabs available in the menu ribbon each and every tab contains different options or called item groups these item groups contains multiple tools for the time we will like to explore this first item group that is about clipboard functionality and one tool is also available that is called formats painter and the other group of item is called font specification or font and the third one here is called alignment left alignment right alignment text wrapping etc margin center etc uh, we can uh, how we will understand these uh, group of items or group of tools at the bottom there is the name of the group item is available editing toolbar cell toolbar style toolbar etc now the important aspect of our microsoft excel is called formula bar here there is the formula bar in which we can type formula or functions there is also a little bit difference between formula and functions we will discuss in the next lecture what is the formula and what is the function and how we can use formula and function in our spreadsheet program along with each group of menu item there is a dialog opener button this is also called dialog launcher by clicking on this we can explore much more other options relevant to this menu item just we click on this dialog launcher this will open a new dialog that will contains a number of other options available for the format of cell and font specification we can see here this contains the font or typeface names uh, font style and font size and we can also change the color or other parameters such as the strike through superscript and subscript of the cell okay now i would like to uh, show you the separate sheet program manipulation uh, formula how separate sheet program manipulate its different cell or what is meant by cell referencing cell referencing is also discussed in our this tutorial later on this is called uh, horizontal division of the separate sheet Uh, this is the vertical division of the spreadsheet this is also called row bar and this one is also called column bar 
द रो बार कॉन्टेन्स द रो नंबर एंड कॉलम बार कॉन्टेन्स द कॉलम लेटर्स हेयर वी कैन सी देर इज अ ग्रिड ऑफ रोज एंड कॉलम्स ईच एंटर सेक्शन ऑफ रो एंड कॉलम if we uh, say that uh, this is the intersection of row and column this one is the, i just highlight the one this is called cell the intersection of row and column is called cell how we can access this cell we can access this cell with the help of its column letter and row number this will called f8 this cell will called f8 uh, the intersection of f and 8 the cell that is composed is called f8 okay these were the uh, fundamental objects or components of the microsoft excel interface now we like to uh, explore the bottom most area of microsoft excel which components are tools are available here first one and top most uh, tool is called leaf bar this is the leaf bar uh, in which we can create multiple sheets or we can navigate to different sheets worksheets available in a spreadsheet program or in a workbook by the help of this plus icon or button we can add multiple spreadsheet in a program this is called horizontal scroll we can move horizontally left or right in the workbook or spreadsheet this is called vertical scroll with the help of this scroll we can move up and down in a workbook or spreadsheet after that we can observe here there is a zoom toolbar we can clearly see there is a zoom toolbar that is used to zoom in or zoom out the content of spreadsheet there is also closely to the zoom toolbar is called view toolbar that is used to change the different views of microsoft excel okay for the time i would like to uh, show you how we can uh, remove these separate sheets from microsoft excel just right click on this spreadsheet and click on delete would you like to delete yes i am going to the default layout of spreadsheet okay this is the default layout of the spreadsheet we will later on explore these all menus and their uses in today's session we just explore how we can access different kind of templates in using microsoft excel and how to use these templates in our excel spreadsheet other components or the incorporating tools are also discussed here such as the menu items menu ribbon and formula bar developer bar web view etc we focused on the home toolbar that home ribbon includes the multiple options that are relevant to our daily separate sheet manipulation here is the important other concept of the cell what is meant by cell and what is its use and how we can uh, differentiate among different cells separate sheet uh, contains a number of cells you can observe that i have clicked on particular cell or we can select the multiple cells by dragging the mouse on the separate sheet left click and drag on the mouse on the separate sheet these cells are called active cells which are selected here these are called active cells and the other entire cells in the separate sheet are called passive cells so if there is any kind of question you can ask in the comments bar if you like today's session about microsoft excel introduction and interface please like this video and share with your friends who are taking a uh, microsoft excel uh, course as a beginner or as a professional i would like to appreciate you if you subscribe our channel for later updates and videos thanks <clears throat>